Lee, great for you to join us in Techno Corner again. We, we, we certainly are learning so much about the Starag group, you know, as I say, but then again, with all the different uh, type of solutions that you, you offer, I suppose we could do one, one a week for the whole of the year, to be <laughs> fair. But um, now, now, aerospace is quite an interesting um, market, personally, for me, uh, as I've worked in the publishing world. Uh, and something I want to talk to you about, you know, the manufacturing landing gear. Now, uh, I've always thought that landing gear components have obviously been turned on like a mill turn machine, for instance, or a lathe. Now, um, how comes this is such a big uh, market for Starag? Well, that, that, that's a bit of a misconception there, Mark. Um, a lot of landing gear cylinders have have an integral support leg um, that's, that attaches itself or, or attaches onto the braces or actuators, which means that they can't they can't just spin on a large lathe type mill turn machine as, as you suggest. Only the uh, the real cylindrical components are turned. So this means we're faced with producing very high value, very complex shapes on, on milling machines um, that are usually produced from large forgings and they're milled all over. So our, our customers really demand very high productivity whilst also maintaining extremely high uh, quality. So with that in mind then, you, I, I wouldn't imagine you've got many standard machines because every, every customer is going to be different. But what type of machines do you actually offer? Well, most of the solutions come from our product range, Droop and Rhine, which, which is an overhead gantry type system. And the main machine we use there is the FOGS machine. But we also have solutions from Hecate as well, where we use horizontal machining centers. And we, we put a table on top of the B-axis. So sometimes we machine, um, we manufacture machines with more than one spindle. So we've, we've got sort of multiple spindles, multiple components being machined uh, simultaneously. And um, starag has been producing landing gear parts at some of the major suppliers for three decades now. Uh, something uh, I wasn't aware of. I mean, so really what you're saying to me is the, these Droop and Rhine machines, they, you, you can, you can, they're, they're milling machines, but you can also turn then, yeah? They can turn, yeah. And we, we've got a turning function on, on, the, on the rotation axis of the components. But predominantly, we're focused on, on the milling of the outside profiles and, and, the, and the boring, which, of course, are very uh, positionally very accurate. That's quite interesting. I mean, when, when you talk about components, you've also got to look at the materials for the fee rates, uh, I would imagine. But when, when you look at the materials, uh, are, are they easy components to actually machine? Well, no, in, in, in simple terms, they're, they're all... Um, challenging materials. They're typically either um, low alloy tempering uh, steels, they could be titanium alloys, depends on the aircraft they're destined for. From, to give you an example, from, from forging to finished component, we usually reduce the mass by about 80%. So, so there's, there's a, lot of, um, a lot of milling required. Um, the shape is also very complex with very few flat, um, flat machine faces. So, uh, there's a lot of heavy roughing and then there's a lot of ball nose milling required. Um, similar kind of processes to, to what we would deliver into the mold and dye industry. Now, I would imagine uh, cutting performance and surface finish is, is quite crucial for these type of uh, uh, projects with landing gear. But I know you guys actually offer very bespoke spindle options. But what, what's the, um, you, know, you know, what's the majority options you've got available? The great thing with the FOGS gantry solution is, is, is it's a RAM type system and we can automatically change the, the five axis BC heads onto the machine's RAM and then we, we can change the spindles into the heads and then we can change the tools into the spindles all automatically. So this means we can drive very large tools uh, with high power torque for roughing, so up to 100 kilowatts gear spindles. And then we can exchange the spindles and run very small tools at high speed. The motor spindle at say 24,000 revs for finishing. Um, so this way the customer has a completely optimized automated process. Yeah, and when you say uh, you automate the process, what does that actually mean to the customer, Lee? Well, well, on the, on, the, on the Hecker machines, we have a standard pallet changer configuration. So you're loading one component whilst the other is, is, is machining. 
Um, on the FOGS machines, we can have two work zones so that whilst one component is being machined over here, we're loading and unloading in the, in the work zone over here, and then we swap vice versa. Um, we can automate the movement of uh, large components using rail systems, and we also use robots as well. So we, we, we use robots for handling the tools as, as well as other things. So we can manage any sh shape or size of tool. Uh, it's not unusual to have a capacity of say 250 tools in the machine. So the machine's got one work area, the robot's running up and down outside the machine, feeding tools and heads into the machines. So the customer has no manual intervention and we have many options to choose when we're discussing solutions to suit customers specific working environments that's that's massive 250 tools i mean obviously that is a, a full sort of automated process but uh, where, where do you actually see see starag in the global marketplace for these solutions in the aerospace sector well, we, we think that most of the major global players are using our solutions uh, uh, for producing complex large landing gear components. And, and many, many of those companies have, have multiple machines, Mark. OK, uh, you, you know, when you summarise all this into into a solution for a lot of customers, Lee, um, what do you think are the benefits actually working with Starag rather than well, it's some always, of your competitors? It, it's always lowest cost per part, uh, but also very importantly, it's the lowest cost ongoing consumable tooling spend as well. So you're saving money through life. Um, single setup machining, of course, is is um, is very important, and also multi spindle machining, where you can be making more than one product at, at a time. We've got decades of know-how and experience specifically for landing gear that we we pass on to our customers, which is invaluable. Uh, we're best in class in, in terms of reliability and, and machine availability. So not only are you producing extremely fast and efficient parts, you're producing them um, with, with very high uptime. So we offer a 24-7 service spare parts um, centers globally, and we've got fixed cost service packages with 95% um, availability. And um, yeah, it's all about giving the customer best cost per part and i must say that uh, you know i've had the privilege to be with you at uh, droop and ryan in Beelerfield, and uh, you know obviously you seeing some massive machines that you you actually produced and i think yet again it's a, a great example of starag's philosophy engineering precisely what you value thanks lee